Welcome everyone to another exciting action tutorial. I hope you're enjoying these lessons and learning techniques you can use in your projects. Today we're going to create a parallax effect in action. We will not build a full website, that's for another episode, but demonstrate how to implement one in a wireframe. I have a web design project already set up here. I have an actual file which is already saved and my web project is has a width of about 1200 pixels. You will notice a menu header, a slider section, the call to action, the three column section, and about a section a little bit about the company, their work, different categories, some of their products, and the footer, which has social links and some copyright information. Let's just run the preview on this web design project to see how it looks like in HTML. So to do that, just click on preview and that will open up your default browser for viewing Axia files. Okay, there we go. Let's just scroll. So it was, it's pretty much a wireframe. Nothing special about it. I'll have to make sure that this top menu header actually remains at the top as you scroll. And I want to add my parallax effect to this image at the top. And secondary in this section, I also want to add a parallax effect. So let's go back to action. And I'll show you firstly how to create a header which stays in place. Select this top header and then right click, change it into a dynamic panel and always make sure to name your dynamic panels. I'm going to name this header menu. Next, I'm going to right click, make sure the actual header menu dynamic panel is selected. Right click and pin to browser. Make sure it is pinned to the browser window at the top and to the left. Say OK. And then let's preview that change. Let's make sure to make small changes and preview your changes. Okay, so here's our rendered wireframe in HTML. As we scroll, you'll notice the top header menu stays in place even as the user goes down the actual site. This is great for the user because they have access to the menu and they can see brand names the whole time. As they use their site. Okay, now let's move on to creating the parallax effects for the two images. Step back to your action. I'll show you the two images that I have already in place. I'm going to try to move it to the side, so I'll just drag it out and I'll press shift to make sure it doesn't it's aligned as I move it out. Okay, so what you'll notice is that the first image at the top is actually a massive image. It's a 1200 pixel image and it's got a height of about 720. And this is very crucial for a parallax effect. The image has to be much larger than the viewpoint that it will appear in which is that section over there. You will notice that this image actually covers even the second section. 
So the second section overlaps the image. This is crucial because the image will move up as you scroll down and the image needs to still be in view as it goes out and as the second section comes up. So hence your image needs to be bigger than your viewpoint. The same for our second image, which is this image right here. I've aligned it slightly below where the, the block actually begins. As we scroll, this image at the top will go up and it will also bring up the second image with it. And hence, the second image has to begin from a lower starting position. Okay, now let's demonstrate how you create the parallax effect. So, with both images selected, right click, convert to a dynamic panel, name your panel background underscore image okay and let's position it let's put it to the back there we go let's zoom in to make sure it's well aligned okay cool that's nice and clean Next, what we want to do is to step over to the bottom section which displays your page interactions and you'll notice several events. Right now there are only three page load, window resize. I want you to focus on the last one, on Windows scroll. Double click on that and choose the action to move our background image and change the setting move by to move to to a particular position on the y-axis this is if you're creating a parallax effect for vertical scrolling if you were creating a parallax effect for horizontal scrolling you'd use the x-axis so click on the function and on the first block you can insert a function and under window you'll notice window.scrolly you want to put in divided by about 1.5 that could be any number but it defines the rate at which the scrolling happens this enables the background image to scroll at a faster rate than the user is scrolling the page let's click OK Firstly, let's also put a minus. Remove the zero from the front. Just for the direction. And click OK. And then let's preview this on this file. You will notice it may take a while because the use of dynamic panels, the size of the images makes your file that much bigger. So always be wary about the size of your, your images and the size of your project. If you're creating a prototype, make sure your files are optimized. There we go. Okay, so let us scroll. And what you'll notice is our top image has a parallax effect. So our top image moves up as I scroll down and that's the reason for the minus in the function and you'll notice our second image comes into view and has a lovely parallax effect as well so that is how you create a parallax effect for any web design project that you may be working on stay tuned for more tutorials on actually how to create a full website Thank you so much. Bye.